What's up YouTube? This is Shabazz and I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. What's up YouTube? My name is Shabazz. I make educational, entertaining, and informative content about CBD, hemp, hemp flower, alternative cannabinoids, cannabis, and cannabis accessories. If that sounds right for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What's up to all my cannabis viewers? Hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. You read the title of the video. You saw the thumbnail. You already know we are going to be checking out this new Clutch City drop. All right. First and foremost, though, we got to give a big shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. They are keeping the channel going and growing. Shout out to Jesha, Wayne, Joel, JB, Ganja Gav, Southern Hope, Alex B, Nathaniel, Donnie, Orlando, Hella Himes, Miguel, Ivan, Stay Low Key, Shooting Insulin, Liberty Tech, Patrick, and Stink Wrinkle. Remember, this channel is not monetized, and the only budget I have to keep it going is from my patrons, people that buy my merch, and from when you use my coupon codes and links, all of which can be found in my landing page in the video description or my website, shabazz420.com. All right, we got the new drop from Clutch City Farms. And this one, well, it's not necessarily a surprise. We didn't really have a lot of warning for it, all right? I just got this, okay? We got three new flavors from them. I'm really, really particularly interested in these because of the terp profiles that they're supposed to have, all right? Like always, comes with a letter of law enforcement and test results. All right, we have our usual Clutch City Farms mailer box. Remember, it does not come in this box. It This is within another regular discrete brown box all right this is inside and then it's uh vacuum sealed for the smell and everything all right all right and then on the inside we got our three new flavors that clutch city is dropping we have the yuzu the tropicana cream and the haichu some very interesting exotic sounding names on these drops all right and yes on this drop we are playing the guessing game on the genetics again i don't know what actual strains these are these are most likely phenos of pre-existing strains. I don't think Clutch City is releasing the actual cultivars that these are, or if they are, they haven't yet, all right? I know a lot of people have an issue with that, so just keep that in mind. All right, and we check out Clutch City fairly regularly. Whatever they drop, you already know, I show it to you here on the channel and I give you my honest opinion. So we don't need to give a huge introduction to everything. You already know about Clutch City, top shelf indoor stuff out of the Houston, Texas area, all right? Let's dive right into it. All right, first off, I'm gonna go for this yuzu, all right? Because I did hear that this is more of a sativa leaning strain from some people. I always try to do the more sativa stuff first. All right, let's check it out. I haven't smelled any of these, unsealed these bags or anything till right now, all right? Okay, at first I'm getting a citrus candy type of terpene profile, all right? Let's let it air out for a second. This smells very familiar, okay? I almost want to say this smells like an Oregon CBD type of a strain, like a, a Suver Haze or a Hawaiian Haze that I've had before. It's, uh, it's, it's, it definitely just smells like a lemon taffy. Like that's exactly what it smells like. Just a lemon soft chewy candy, like a, like a yellow starburst. There's not really any gassiness to it. It's not cushy, it's not skunky. It just has a very kind of a lemon citrus candy type of scent. It also has a this kind of earthiness with a, the, a slightest hint of maybe like a little cheesiness in the background, which is what really makes me say, this might be a pheno of an Oregon CBD strain. All right, and I got it out onto a tray and um, like Clutch City Flower always is, this is good looking stuff. Frosty, you know, you could tell this is indoor flower. The trim is nice and close. No seeds, no bug pieces, nothing like that. All right, and there's a nug of the yuzu. As you can see, top shelf looking stuff. Here's a different nug and uh, I'm not blown away by the appearance. This isn't the wildest stuff I've ever seen, but it's definitely top shelf, you know, indoor quality flower right here, all right? All right, and I wanted to bring you in a little bit closer so you can really see, you know, some of the finer details on this flower, some of the frost, the pistols, all of that. Nice coloration going on in there. It's good looking stuff, all right? And from what I've heard and seen just from preliminary thoughts and stuff from other people who have seen this already before it released. This yuzu might be the least overwhelming of the whole batch, but of course we are going to find that out ourselves. All right, I definitely gotta see what this is tasting like. So I'm gonna break it down, get it ready to inhale, and I'm gonna show y'all some high resolution images of the yuzu here.
All right, we got the Yuzu loaded up, ready to go. Let's get into it. Okay, a light, smooth smoke. It's not bursting with flavor. I'm getting a little bit of citrus in there, but it, it, it's not bad tasting though. And, and that first hit was pretty smooth. Took a bigger hit that time and still really smooth, really easy to smoke. And again, it's not bursting with flavor, okay? Like a type one or anything, but it's definitely a better than average type of flavor for a hemp flower, okay? Definitely has a little bit of a light citrus flavor to it on the smoke. All right, and I do have it loaded up into the Crafty Plus. Remember, if you're interested in dryer vaporizers, this is probably the best portable vaporizer there is. I have a link to that in my landing page on my website, all right? Very light vapor, right? So the, the vapor and the smoke on this flavor, very light, very easy to get down, very minor to no throat irritation. As far as the taste goes, this has, um, again, kind of like the smoke, it has a light lemony citrus flavor. It's definitely stronger in the vapor, but it's not like super punchy and bright like a, like a straight artificial lemon. It's got a taste that's similar to like a lemon pledge or like a lemon air freshener or something like that. It tastes good though, it tastes really nice and clean and it's easy to smoke and vape. Right. So considering that it is good to smoke and vape, it's not foul tasting and smooth, I imagine this will probably do really well in a joint or a nice thin hemp wrap like a high hemp. So far, I don't have any complaints about this flavor. It's smoking nice, it's vaping nice. Let me just kick back for a little bit and see what the effects are gonna be like. Five minutes later. All right, I'm back. And uh, actually, while I was letting the effects kick in, I was researching about the yuzu fruit, which I assume is this is named after, and I definitely see why, okay? First though, just as far as the effects go, I'm getting a nice, definitely a sativa dominant effect. And I say sativa dominant, not because I'm racy or just super heady or anything like that, but I'm very clear headed with um, basically no body effects whatsoever. It's all up in my head, and I, I, I have that feeling of numbness behind my forehead and a little bit of pressure behind my eyes, but not on my eyelids and some cotton mouth. However, I do want to state though, it's, it's, it's very clear headed. This almost feels like if you were to smoke like a half CBD, half CBG joint, it's a clear headed, um, just very slightly spacey type of a strain. Definitely no laziness or sleepiness or anything that's going to come from this. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm necessarily energized, but I'm definitely not sleepy or feeling lazy or couch locked or anything like that. So this is definitely a sativa dominant strain, which again makes me question, is this a pheno of an Oregon CBD strain like Suver Haze? Like I said though, while I was letting the effects kick in, the yuzu fruit is a citrus fruit from Eastern Asia. It's said to taste and smell somewhere between a grapefruit and a mandarin orange. This has definitely citrus overtones, okay? So I definitely see why they named this pheno that. It's a very appropriate name, all right? I do like these effects though, and I'm definitely glad that I tried this first. This is definitely a daytime, all day type of strain. You're not gonna get a super heavy buzz off of it. You're not gonna be stuck, couch locked, feeling lazy. You might get the munchies a little bit and you might get some cotton mouth, but you know, when you got something to do, you're at work, whatever, this is definitely a good one for those kind of scenarios. And um, I don't really have any problems with it. It smoked good, it vaped good, I like the effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this Yuzu the Shabazz seal of approval, all right? This is a nice sativa dominant flavor. And keep in mind y'all, if you like anything you see in this video, I do have a coupon code in my landing page in the video description or my website, Shabazz420.com. All right, and I was gonna save the best for last, but uh, nah, I wanna get straight to it, all right? Well, and I don't know if it's gonna be the best, but just based on the name, I think it's gonna, I, I hope it's the best. That's, <laughs> we're gonna look at the Tropicana Cream, all right? And the reason I'm already hyping this up to myself is because of that name, Tropicana, all right? One of my absolute favorite terpene profiles in the cannabis world is Tropicana Cookies and subsequently Tropicana Cherry, all right? I, it is just a gassy, sweet, 
dessert, orange, citrus, tangy, bomb terpene profile. It's everything I'm looking for in cannabis, all right? So I'm anxious to see, is this gonna live up to that name, all right? Is a Tropicana part of this appropriate? And and again, I am almost 100% sure this doesn't have any type of Tropicana type one genetics cross into this. That's just what they chose to name this phenol, all right? But if the terpenes are close or similar to that, I will be impressed, all right? So let's check it out. Okay, all right, let's let this air out. Let's let it breathe. Right away, I can tell you this isn't like bursting with any sort of dankness or gassiness or anything like that. I do definitely get, this smells like sherbet, okay? It's, it's, it's got a tropical fruit type of a smell. But what it really reminds me of is when you get those pints of sherbet ice cream and it's got the, what does it have? The orange, green, and something else pink and they're all together and you open that up and you can always smell sherbet. To me, that's exactly what this smells like, all right? It doesn't really smell like Tropicana cookies or Tropicana cherries. It has definitely some of that exotic tropical fruit smell to it, but it's missing too much of that cologne, gas, dankness, type one spice, all right? This does smell very good though, all right? Definitely smells, again, like some sherbet or some tropical fruit candy. All right, now I got it out onto the tray and I must say, this looks very nice, all right? It looks very nice, it's very frosty. This is definitely some of the frostiest flower I've seen from Clutch City. I do like that profile. I wish it had more gas and dankness to it, but it is a nice tropical fruity profile, all right? All right, and there's a Tropicana cream. Very nice, like I said, type one looking flower, dense nug structure, close, very close manicured trim, and very frosty, all right? This stuff looks really good, really top shelf, really premium. Here's another nug, and it definitely has kind of that signature nug structure that I've seen from other strains from Clutch City, all right? All right, and I definitely wanted to get up close and just show you how frosty this is, all right? Very frosty strain, really nice looking top shelf flower. Again, it's trimmed very closely, very tight, very nice manicured trim. I like that. On looks, this could definitely pass as a type one flower. Smell though, no, not at all. But on looks, this looks this looks like some za, all right? And this doesn't smell bad at all, right? Like I said, it smells good. It smells like some tropical fruit candy or like opening up a pint of sherbet ice cream. It smells really good, really fruity. However, this isn't gonna be something that, you know, you open up the bag and somebody on the other side of the room is gonna smell it, all right? All right, it's not dank, but it smells good. It's a nice fruity scent. All right, I got that Tropicana cream loaded up and ready to go. <sighs> Took a light hit to get some flavor. Ooh, that one's spicy. That's got that sinus and like nose tingling effect that some flavors have. Almost makes you wanna sneeze a little bit, but it's not harsh. All right, let's go for another hit. Definitely a thicker, heavier smoke than that yuzu. Again, it's not harsh or painful on the throat or anything like that. It's a little bit spicy. I'm definitely not getting any of that fruit or candy on the taste. However, I have a just the ever so slightest kind of hint of gassiness kind of stuck on my tongue. But that's not bad tasting, all right? It's, it's definitely not packed with flavor though. All right, let's check it out in the vaporizer. Vapor is kind of spicy too, but um, in the vaporizer, it's actually, it also doesn't have a lot of flavor, which is crazy because usually always stuff in the vaporizer is where the flavor really shines, all right? <sighs> it 
And it's not that it's flavorless, it's just, it's not a very bright, it's not a very forward or punchy flavor, right? Definitely nothing like the side piece or that cookie butter or dank stuff that Clutch City has dropped before. This is definitely a much more subtle, airy, in the background type of a terpene and flavor profile, all right? All right, so with this Tropicana Cream, it's not bad at all, just based on the flavor and the smoke and the vapor and everything. I did overhype it to myself a little bit thinking, you know, oh, what if this is gonna be like, you know, a Tropicana type one type of a strain? It's not. So we're gonna go back to comparing it to the regular pool of type three genetics, all right? And so far, I don't really have any negatives to say about it. So let me see what these effects are gonna be like. 11 minutes later. All right, so the effects on the Tropicana, um, I got very distracted right now, all right? So again, I wanna say the effects on this are clear-headed, but they have a very elusive type of effect in which you get stuck. I was on YouTube looking at stuff and I just got completely engrossed and like I could not look away. It was, it was crazy. Some people describe that as like a couch lock. However, I consider a couch lock more of a body feel too, like your body just melts into. It's not like that, okay? I'll definitely say this one is kind of more of a right in the middle hybrid, but the effects on this are definitely a little bit stronger than the Yuzu. I'm not feeling energized, but again, I'm not feeling sleepy or sedated. However, I do have a little bit more of a body effect on this one definitely a little bit of a numbness in my torso all right it's very interesting very interesting effects on this i will say as far as the terpene profile and stuff the tropicana part of the name is a little bit bold all right however on the smoke it's not super harsh or anything it's not super flavorful but it doesn't taste bad on the vapor it's not packed with flavor all right but it does have some good effects all right so while i don't think that this is going to go down in history or anything i'll give it the shabazz seal of approval all right there's nothing really bad about it at all. All right, and last but not least, we have the Hai Chu. And again, we have an ambitious name, all right? Because Hai Chu, very well known, like taffy type of candy, all right? Let's see if we get some sort of a candy terping profile. And based on what we've tried so far, I'll bet my bottom dollar that we will, all right? Let's get into it, all right? So we had a sativa, we had a hybrid. Oh, wow. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hmm. This is definitely the most strongest smelling flavor out of the bunch, all right? And while again, this isn't dank, it doesn't have any gas or skunk or kush to it, just the volume of the smell, the punchiness of it is definitely higher. I'm getting a, an intent intense type of a fruit candy smell all right it's 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 unmistakable it's very bright right in your face all right i'm not getting really any type of like herbal earthiness plantiness or anything like that this literally smells like you're sticking your nose into a bag of candy all right so i think as far as a high chew name goes they didn't miss right there right i think that's perfect it's a very intense um very prominent and unmistakable candy profile all right, it's crazy. All right, and smell aside, just looking at the flower, uh, a very Clutch City-esque bud structure, uh, but this is frosty and it has a really nice coloration to it, all right? I, I have a feeling this Haichu might be my favorite out of all three, but just take a look at that, all right? Good looking stuff. Here's another Nug, very frosty, very dense Nug structure. Definitely has a type one type of appearance, all right? Very frosty really dense all right you could definitely fool people with looks pictures they'll definitely think this is you know some top shelf medical exotic type one stuff all right really nice looking flower yeah that is one of the the fruitiest candiest hemp strains i've ever smelled dang i really wish that this had some sort of gassiness or dankness to it it would be crazy all right but it's very fruity very strong smell All right, I got that ready to go. And I do want to say this high chew was definitely the stickiest out of all three. All right, let's get to it. Again, 
The smoke isn't too heavy, it's easy to get down, no throat irritation, it's pretty smooth. I'm getting a hint of the smell on the taste. It's not a super loud taste. Again, it's not bursting with flavor or anything like that, but you're definitely getting some hints of terpenes on the smoke. I took a smaller hit there, not a huge improvement in flavor. Yeah, you can taste the terpenes, but they're definitely like not up front. You kind of got to wait till after the exhale and after the flavor kind of settles in your mouth. There's definitely a hint of the way that it smells trapped in there somewhere. All right, let's try it out in the vaporizer. A little bit of a bite on the vapor for sure. It's, there's definitely a little bit of a, a little bit of a sensation going on um, on the inhale. You do get more flavor on the vapor. However, what I'm not getting from the smoke or the vapor is the really sweet kind of artificial fruit flavor that you're getting on the smell. The smell has a very prominent, very forward artificial fruit candy type of smell to it. And on the smoke and the vapor, you're getting kind of just like a hint of it, you know, like a, like a LaCroix water, all right? It's just a, just, just a splash, just a splash of flavor thrown in there, all right? All right, let's, uh, let's kick back for a second and let's see what the effects are like on this. All right, I'm back. And uh, I wanna say the effects on the high chew are similar to that Tropicana cream. It's also worth noting that the COA percentages, the CBD and the THC percentage are nearly identical on both of those. Just something worth noting, something to think about. I'm not feeling as spacey and like focus locky -y as I did with the Tropicana. This one's kind of a, just a more mild, smoother, relaxing hybrid in the middle type of a buzz, all right? So again, I'll go ahead and call this like a 50-50 hybrid. I'm not super energized, but I'm not falling asleep either. However, I am feeling nice and relaxed, all right? This is the most relaxed I felt out of all three of these. So I think what happened is we inadvertently did save the best for last. I thought that Tropicana was going to end up being my favorite, but no, my favorite by far is a high chew without a doubt. All right. Definitely giving this the Shabazz seal of approval. Yes, there are some things that could improve out of this whole drop. I think the high chew really stands apart. All right. This is definitely the shiniest, the brightest and the best smelling out of all of them. You know, one thing I was impressed with is even though the smell on this isn't dank or gassy or anything like that at all, it is just, it's very cleanly and powerfully what it is. Like a, a, a tropical fruit candy smell. It smells exactly like it. It doesn't have any other smells. It doesn't smell dirty or earthy or like pine cones or anything like that. It just has this very direct and recognizable fruit candy smell, all right? If I could only have one out of all these, it would be the high chew, all right? But I did appreciate the yuzu for its clear-headed, kind of morning, daytime, responsible effects, all right? Another interesting indoor drop from Clutch City Farm out of Texas, all right? It's always nice to see what they're cooking up down in H-Town, all right? Remember, if you do wanna check any of these out, I do have a coupon code down on my landing page or my website. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my merch. All right, so make sure you use that, take advantage of it. Hit like if you like the video, hit me up down in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so, so much, and I sincerely hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. I got a pretty relaxing buzz going on here, so I'm gonna have to catch you on the next video. Peace.